We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Theory Analysis, and we are marking up AUD, USD. We are on a 12 month time frame. Price action, last count to right hand side, a bullish green, small doji. We do have price action overall, higher highs. Price action overall, lower lows. Midpoint. Also adding second level lows. Third level lows. And fourth level lows. Current price is at 0 0.69805. So if price works up, it can tag that resistance line at 0 0.728.36 before tagging that midpoint within that area which would be at near the numbers of 0 0.70908. If price action push up further, can tag the next resistance line in white at 0 0.72836 before tagging at midpoint in that area at 0 0.79994. So if price pushes up from this area, Market price is coming from the overall spike down to that low. So we can see our market started off near a high, pushed up to a high, I should say, came back to retest. So that's that formation of that first leg coming down red and green, second leg, third leg, and we're gonna see if that market respects that midpoint, that area. So that's identified as a break and retest for that market to push up from that overall double bottom. It's also a pattern in that area as well. So when that market did broke up, it came back to retest that previous side. So within this level alone, we do have that first, second, third. We looked for the engulfment of the last few candles in the market, which would be price, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and some of that eighth last candle in the market. I'd say stop at seven. We get the engulfment. Market's coming from that first, second, third, and push up for that fourth leg. So the price is coming down. Where is it coming from? came from a market pushed up to that high. It did identify a single top, a break, a retest, market pushed down. So in that formation at that high was overall double top. Market broke, came back to return. So that's identified as the break, the retest. We got the engulfment and the market push down. It did do a retest on this level here. So think about this level as overall retest. So. It pushed down, came back to retest, and we're looking to see that price is going to push down to the next level. So it'll be identified as coming from the first, second, third, fourth, retest one, retest two. And that'll be the second push towards the downside. Or that market can consolidate with the last seventh candles in the market until we see that um, pattern push up down the sideways. Walking down to the six month time frame. So price action on a six month time frame is reading as a bullish green candle. So we do get we did get the engulfment to the previous candle body against body, but that looked like the price action wick did not engulf the previous wick. So what that market may be identified as another consolidation candle, unless that market start pushing up. But so far, that area is within each other, is a little bit of incline, but we still look for price to engulf that full candle of that second uh it's can do to push that market up so identify as the first, second, third, and market push up for the double bottom. And if the market pushes down, we can that market will be identified as a bearish red candle dropping from that area because we do have that's the market has broke retest, so it's the it could be identified as a first, second, third, fourth, fourth leg break. Price action is a retest to that midpoint line, which would be second level lows and it could come down with the bearish red candle 
walk it down to a three month time frame. So price action three month time frame, we still didn't find the same thing. It's still, we can still see that break. Market's coming back to retest. Price action is what is currently at, is that a midpoint area? So our market is identifying a break at a retest. We're looking for price to engulf that third to last candle to push that market up further. But so far we can see price action did engulf the third, the price action body did engulf the third to last candle body, but price action wick did not engulf that previous wick. So that market is identifying a retest of that third to last candle. So we're gonna see what happened in this area side by side with that current price. Walking down to the monthly time frame, price action. Bullish green candle coming from that area. Second last candle is a retest. So within that pattern below is reading as a first, second, third uh, leg, which is a retest at the second last candle. And price is trying to push up, but we're still looking for price to break those levels at that high. We can see the midpoint and we do have that low. So we think about putting that area in the zone. We can see we're looking for the breakout from that previous side. Working our way to the weekly time frame, so price action weekly time frame is reading as a bullish green candle inside the second last candle doji. So we can see that market when it did break down fully, it came back to retest. We just had a touch on that area with the second last candle. Price action is within that second last candle. So that market is consolidating. So price second and third last candle is within that area. So we're looking for that market to identify a break retest as it's doing with the second last candle to see if it's gonna push up bullish and green unless it'll consolidate in that area or receive a bearish red candle to break through that zone that we just created and do that uh, second la second to last candle towards the upside or downside. Working our way down to the daily time frame. So price action daily time frame reading as a small bullish green candle. So it could be a retest. So it's like hey, we have a high, we have a mid, we have a low. Um, the fourth and six of last candle is identifying the double top. The market broke and came back to retest. So it's a first, second, third, fourth retest. And we're going to see that market's going to consolidate, push up further, or come back down. But so far, price is hanging out on that midpoint area. Walking down to the four, we're going to put a zone on that area that we just created for that midpoint. A little bit above, a little bit below. Let's take a look at what's going on. So we can clearly see the double top in this structure. So the market did spike up as we identified earlier. Market did spike that area for that first, second, third, fourth double top. Came back to retest, but you now we can see price action has went into that area. So it's still a little bit top or bottom. So you're looking for, waiting for that market to consolidate to identify the push up through that zone, push down, as I said before, consolidate. Price action just currently in the zone. So now we're gonna have to wait around and see what's gonna happen in that area. Walking down to the three, we have price action bullish green candle. So we did get, did get a retest inside that zone. So that market could be pushing up because we do have the engulfment to price action to that second last candle. So what it's reading as is a break into that zone, retest with the second last candle and the market pushed. So that market could be pushing up because we do have that body above the previous body is overlapping the previous candle with that retest. So let's see if we could walk down the time frame, see what's happening. So it looks like it's an elevation pattern for a break and retest, break, retest, and keep on going for break and retest. What's happening in this area, the second last candle did break my midpoint within that zone going right across. So it did break the midpoint. So it's identifying as a break and retesting that midpoint. So we're going to see if it's going to follow up with a bullish green candle to keep on creating those levels until we see what happens when price hits the top of that zone. Walking down to the one, same as well. Spike down to a low, could be a reverse to work its way up. 45 minute time frame, same as well. Still have that spike down with the price action candle. It is doji, so the top of price in second, just identifying consolidation at the high. Price action did have that spike down to a low, so we're gonna see if it's gonna follow up with a bullish green candle. So identify as a break, retest, break, retest, break, retest, push. Very important information, please review and study Forex Pattern Cheat Sheet Breakout and Retest Strategy Images. Okay guys, this is Cam Jones, FX, AUD, USD.